Five o'clock. Then we come. First position. Okay. Um, again, as far as I'm meant to believe, the applications in the dummy comes to the techniques and the forms. Okay? So when you look at the, the, the wooden dummy, so the opening movements of the wooden dummy. Yeah. So where do these movements come from? What form are they in? That. That's bridging, it's bridging. In my opinion, you see, who am I to disagree with Yip Man or anybody else, right? But who the hell is Yip Man? The guy that's famous because he taught a guy that was famous. You know, it's a hard one turn guy, the same as everybody else is out there that never get any credit for anything because they never talk about it. Simplified Wing Chun, in his opinion, in his opinion, right? which is not my opinion, because some of the stuff that I ask him, when you see from when he gets here, well, uh, there's questions I like to ask him because through the, through the years, way, way, way back in past, the kind of origins, <coughs> you really, really know because it's full of bullshit and lies and all sorts of stuff, right? But the, there was locks and there was takedowns and stuff like that. Part of the pressure points was I'm going to I know there is some bits that you can hit people in the huts a lot. But um, why were they taking it? The dead man's deem them unnecessarily too brutal, right, in his opinion. Where did the locks go? Did he, did he never need them? Because it'd be handy if you're a Wing Chun guy and you the doors. You would like to show the user that you're that more efficiently, mm. rather than have to go into other stuff. <coughs> it must all have been there at some point. I've read different things that these things were there. Throws and all the rest of that. I want them. They're useful to me. Right? They might not be useful to the Yip Man or whoever else. Wing Jan or whatever kind of stuff. So I want to know where, where they went. Then anyway, back to this. Off the tangent. So you come up to here and then you turn. So you do three things, don't you? The elbow hacking part is called. The elbow hacking. Practicing your turning. Right? Pulps. Yes, it does practice your turning. But that's not what it's for. It's a fake technique, you know. Every single movement and every single form is for combat. Combat. Nothing else. No warm ups, no cool downs, no practicing your turning, no two way energy. <laughs> right? It's nonsense. Okay, so what are you doing? So if you look at if you look at fort reform, right? So you now obviously the first side you go to, that's that's the, the last side, isn't it? Because you're only practicing your turning, right? And you get to this point. On the left side, the left hand's on top. And the right side, when you do the right side on its own, the right hand's on top. Do any of you know why that is? You know why that is? Right. So, the punch comes in that you can use two hands. I use two hands. Because I have no idea what hands are in a punch comes right? When you make contact, that's when your cheese out comes in. That's the relevance in the rest of the art. So, when David punches me here, I go here for two hands. Whatever hand catches, I'll pull on that side. Right? So, now, if you look at this hand, it's the right hand here. I've went through and I've caught. The reason the right hand is on top going to the right side is because it's holding his head. Mm. That's why it's going to there. If he punches me with the other hand, and I go here, boom, sorry, I told you shit. And I go to the left side, the left hand is holding his head. That's why it's there. It's not a practice of turning or anything else or elbow hat. Cutting into people's and knocking them out. Okay, so when the punch comes in, Two hands here, they have to through, this is what's a bit through. <laughs> and then, now the turning here, this is, this is where the turning part becomes relevant here as well. You need that power, that power here, to drive it through. One technique would be enough, if it's no run like, <laughs> one, see? Now you don't have to uh, have a degree or be a lot of science. To know what to do next day. So you have you can you can help, you can help. So whatever you want to do, you can work. You can start throwing knees in, right? But if you've not phased them enough with an elbow, right, he'll grab your leg. He will grab your leg. Because he's in panic mode now. He'll grab your trouser leg, you'll grab you're lifting your knee up here, he's gonna get it. And then if you've got a couple of pints in you, I don't drink this one. <laughs> 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 
Right, you're going along, simple as that. So if we go slow here, I'm up, going through. If you push it through the other hand, it doesn't make any difference. I go, yeah, I'm going slow. And I drive out. That's what I just keep driving, driving, and through. But get it there, when the punch comes in, here, get it out, get it out, come on, and go through. That's a good noise, that. How many you try that? <laughs> <laughs>